In this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the best Blender add-ons when it comes to adding HDRI or what is known as high dynamic range images to your scenes to be able to render high quality shots or videos. This add-on has 400 HDRI images that can help you capture any type of mood, lighting, time of the day, or season of the year. Using HDRI Maker, you can get full immersion in an HDRI environment and you will easily be able to control various parameters, usually with one click or slide. These parameters will allow you to control different elements in the scene, like adding animated fog, adding a background material to any object on the ground, and you will also be able to create animated videos inside the dome that the add-on will automatically create for you, and much more. The interface of the add-on is designed to be simple and intuitive. The developers have changed the preview system, and now they are very large to allow good preview that immediately gives you an idea about the background that you are going to choose. In addition to that, you can choose the quality of the background whether it be 1K, 2K, 4K, or even 8K. You can choose from 23 categories which will allow you to remember and know where certain high dynamic range images are when you need them. Generally speaking, this add-on is fantastic for rendering high quality videos and images. If you want to check it out, you can find the links in the description. To explain how this add-on works, first of all we're gonna use this airplane as an example as you can see here. And before we do anything, we need to install the add-on. So we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, and we're going to go here to Installation and find the installation file. As you can see, there are two versions that you need to download if you have a 2.83 or older, depending on what you have. And you're going to choose one and then install the add-on. Then you're going to come over here and you are going to look for this zip libraries path. You're going to choose the path of the files that you're going to need to extract the HDRIs. So there are actually about 19 of them, actually exactly 19 and about 40 gigs. You're going to find them here on the website. These are the 19 files that you need to download. Each one of them is 2 gigs and you need to download them all one by one in order for this to work. After that you're going to accept and close this and choose the installation path and install the files and then you're gonna wait for a couple of minutes until this is done. Alright so to start testing this add-on first of all we're gonna go to categories and choose one category among these. Uh, for instance we're gonna choose open world and um, we're gonna look for something interesting for example this one here number eight and we're going to change the resolution to something like 8k because it is the best quality possible and we're going to add it we can't see anything because we need to activate the viewport shading and since uh, we are working right now with cycles this is going to be a little bit kind of something that is going to take a little bit more time to clear the noise and stuff so we better work with eevee which is better for real-time rendering and getting the most uh, in real time. Okay, so uh, now we have it and we need to start working with uh, some parameters. First of all, we need to uh, use the background controls and we need to add the synchronization of the sun. This allows us to see how the sun is actually affecting our object and as you can see it is. And there is one very important thing to do first of all be before we do anything which is to check this box HDRI projected. It allows us to create a ground underneath our airplane uh, and since we are inside a dome as you can see this is very effective and it is it makes things way more realistic. We can change the intensity of the Sun like this. We can change the inclination as you can see. We can change also the rotation we can change the light coming from the intensity of the light coming from the HDRI we can change exposure colorization we can change also saturation which is great <clears throat> and we can change the position on the X of course of the HDRI I mean on the Y and rotation on the Z as well if you we want to rotate the HDRI also, um, there are a lot of parameters you can control that we're going to talk about one by one. Since we are here, we are going to actually test also the shadow catcher and one of the most important features about it. We're going to go to add and uh, we're going to add a plane. 
S from the keyboard to scale it a little bit, as you can see. This is going to allow us to actually see the shadow of the airplane better. And this plane is going to allow us to catch the shadow and see it in more vivid details. As you can see, if we rotate the shadow around the airplane, we can see that it is much more clear and higher, higher when it comes to the, the definition. Okay, this is one thing I wanted to talk about. We can delete this if we want to. But for now, we're going to do something really interesting, which is actually um, using the fog in this add-on, which is fantastic. As you can see, to activate the fog, we need to go over here to show the fog. And there is a lot going on here. So we need the first thing we need to do is to change the den density if you want to. We can change the level of the fog and we can change the emission or the emissive uh, value. All right, so the most important thing or the most important features I think here that, that is going to affect your scene positively uh, is the value of the patches. As you can see, it allows us to actually um, or, or it allows the fog to form patches around the airplane, which is fantastic. And uh, the, the nice thing is that this fog here is animated. As you can see, it is moving around the airplane. We can in increase the density to see it better. And we can see increase also the quality. We can change it to high or very high or even best. But um, yeah, depending on what you want, whatever you need. Fantastic. We can also um, change the scale of the patches. We can increase the, the, the speed of the wind, which allows us to increase the speed of the fog as well, as you can see. If we push this to a higher value, we can see that uh, the patches are more clear and stuff. Also, the density, if we increase it, and reduce the the value of the patches a little bit we can see different results and the speed I think it is a little bit too high okay fantastic great and we can say that so far we are getting really really cool results and this add-on is actually gonna allow you to do a lot of different things if you use it right Okay, right now we're going to test other functions of the HDRI Maker add-on and um, we're going to actually add this uh, background as you will see and we're going to as usual activate the viewport shading and change the render engine to EV as well. Okay, nice. Uh, we're going to do the same things we've done before. Uh, sync the sun, HDRI projection and uh, one thing that is going to be different, we're going to change the size of this shoe dramatically. We want it to be something like this, probably. Or even smaller. Probably something like this. And we're going to also move it a little bit, probably, probably to something close to this. And we are going to zoom a little bit, as you can see. Fantastic. Uh, there are a few things we're going to add uh, to this scene in particular. For example, uh, for example, we want to create, um, add something to the ground. We're going to actually go to add. We're going to go to a plane. And this plane is going to be our, uh, our is going to represent part of our ground. Okay, so we're going to probably rotate it a little bit. And uh, we're going to go to Sculpting Tools or Sculpting Mode, uh, go to Tools. We activate Dino Topo and change this to something like 5. And we're going to create something around this, uh, around, the, around our shoe. To create kind of an even ground here to create a certain effect that we are aiming for. And as you can see, this is a fantastic way of dealing with um, kind of adding depth and uh, the third dimension to something that is flat. We can do this real quick 
for a purpose we're going to use later. And you can create uh, actually uh, anything you want related to adding these effects to the ground. Also another thing I want to talk about which is the fact that we can literally add bricks or anything you want to add uh, to the ground as well. For example, we're going to add a cube here. Of course, we're going to make it way smaller and we're going to move it over here. We're going to rotate it a little bit and scale it again. Okay, I'm going to move it once again. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to also add it to the ground. And as you can see, it is not perfect, but we can fix it real quick. Okay, so now we're going to also go to the sculpt mode. Do the same thing we've done. Uh, this is important because we want to actually control how this is looking right now and how it is uh, being integrated with with the ground we have. For example, this here should not look like this. So we're going to fix it and remove hard edges and stuff because this does not look natural right now. We're going to smooth it out as best as we can to make it look more realistic and believable. Okay, that's nice. We can do the same thing over here. And, uh, and as you have seen, this was just a quick example of what is uh, what we can do using this add-on and how we can add geometry to a flat surface. Uh, when it comes also to um, this plane we added here, probably we're going to add a little bit more depth to it. Like um, we want it to pop out a little bit because we're going to do something interesting here. We're going to go uh, back to object mode. We're going to add another plane. This one is going to be smaller and is going to be directly underneath this uh, shoe over here. And we're going to make sure that it is a little bit. All right, nice. And if we select this uh, plane we created, and change this from simple or probably to reflection or water we're going to see different things so for now we're going to choose water effect and uh, again we're going to actually try to add the shadow catcher and as you can see we are seeing a water effect taking place over here which is nice uh, there are a lot of parameters also when it comes and control when it comes to working with water in this add-on uh, we can change the range Probably a lot of them you can't see because the surface is very small. But if you have other surfaces and other opportunities to work with this add-on, you're going to see its power. You can, you can change the reflection. You can change the roughness. You can change uh, the uh, probe size that is actually where, as you can see, it is. This is not really needed. So it uh, depends on the situation, of course. It depends highly on the situation. All right, so uh, we can change also one of the very important parameters, which is whether the water is static or flowing. So if we try flowing water, we can see that the water is actually moving, which is a nice thing we can add. We can also um, change the speed at which the water is moving. All right, if we change this, 
we can change water speed, which is not realistic, but uh, we can actually use it for different situations. The water detail also. Uh, and of course, the, the larger the surface is, the more details we need. And if you are using also, uh, a, uh, for example, in an open space, you need waves and stuff. And uh, as you can see, this is a really nice, cool effect that we can add whatever we want. And whenever we want. Also, if we want to apply the other uh, stuff we did before, like fog, we can do it as well. We can show fog. As you can see, we can change the patches, the density, the level, and the emission. We can change the force of the wind. And as you can see, this is a cool thing we can do inside this fantastic add-on for rendering and stuff, HDRIs and everything else. So I hope you found this video useful and I hope you will take a look at this add-on, HDRI Maker. You can find the links in the description. Uh, there is actually a promotion code that you're going to use provided by the developer Andrew. And if you want to check it out, you can go to the Blender Marketplace or you can also go to the Gumroad page where you can find all the necessary files and the download links that you're going to use to work on your project. Again, I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.